To feed the world's growing population, food production has to rise 70% by 2050. This is a huge challenge in itself, but while addressing hunger and livelihoods, we simply have to protect the land at the same time. Several far-sighted initiatives have been launched in response to these concerns. Many of them target climate change too. But they all share one common denominator, that's sustainable land management. Sustainable land management secures the productive base while simultaneously ensuring ecosystem resilience, safeguarding water supply and biodiversity. And sustainable land management captures carbon while offering opportunities for climate change adaptation. Around a third of the greenhouse gases responsible for climate change are generated from agriculture or from land use change including land degradation. Climate change may in turn be responsible for worse land degradation with droughts, erosive rainfall and floods. But there is another way of looking at it. Climate change stimulates responsive action. Farmers are motivated to be innovative with technologies while donors respond with new funds. This improves sustainable land management, which means more carbon is captured and climate change is mitigated. A virtuous cycle. This series presents sustainable land management practices, all of them proven in sub-Saharan Africa. Each has a role to play, some very widely spread, others in specific locations. And these are versatile practices that can be adjusted and modified by farmers in the field. They form the building blocks of a land-based environmental adaptation strategy. But such a strategy ultimately depends on people and their skills and knowledge. That's the rationale behind this series, to make that know-how available to a wide audience in a clear and visual way. The first film features contour stone lines, a simple water harvesting system found throughout the Sahel. Based on a tradition, stone lines have been improved by farmers working together with technicians. Fania Jew terraces are the backbone of the very successful soil conservation campaign in Kenya. These robust structures are now spreading throughout the region. Gravilia robusta is a friendly foreigner, a genuinely multi-purpose agroforestry tree that's been adopted by millions of farmers in East Africa. Water harvesting from roads has been overlooked and its value undervalued. Throughout dryland Africa, farmers make use of road drainage to boost their crops. Its potential is huge. Urban agriculture thrives in Africa. Even dairy cows are kept in the heart of many cities. Milk is nutritious and profitable and a key byproduct is energy saving biogas. Zai planting pits capture runoff to boost plant growth in dry parts of the Sahel. They are at their most effective when combined with manure and set between contour stone lines. Demi-loon are a popular form of water harvesting, simple to lay out and cheap to construct. They're used for crops, trees and pasture. Agroforestry parklands have formed a protective canopy for generations in the Sahel. 
Shia nut trees are one of the most common species in Ghana and provide a cash crop of Shia butter. Soil fertility management can be improved through adopting compost pits and through the use of strategic microdosing with fertilizers. Both techniques are taking off fast. In Niger and elsewhere, farmer-managed natural regeneration of self-seeding trees has led to a remarkable recovery in much-valued agroforestry species. Sustainable land management isn't only about technologies. It involves families and communities as well. Pastoralists and farmers interact in the Sahel to achieve mutual benefits. Fodder for livestock and manure for crops. Zambia provides an example of how conservation agriculture can work for small-scale farmers and is a model for the upscaling of new technology. These then are the sustainable land management practices featured in this series. All work well where they're used, but equally each could be more widespread. Without knowledge and know-how, Farmers cannot learn about the options available to them. Here are some of the best explained in simple terms, supported by the testimonies of the users themselves.